works is? Yes. No works. All right, now. Read. Therefore, leaving the principle of the doctrine of Christ, let us go on into perfection, not leaving again the foundation of repentance from dead works and of faith toward God. Of the doctrine of baptism and of laying on our hands and of the resurrection of the dead and of the eternal judgment. All right, now I'm gonna break all of this down mm -hmm. in these scriptures and later. Amen. Now, here's the question here. The question is, how does a man move to perfection? All right, go ahead, tell it now. Amen. Number one, mm -hmm. a man moves to perfection. Go ahead. By accepting correction. That's true. That's true. Okay. Correction make us perfect. It does. Not hearing correction, but accepting correction. That's true. That's true. Everybody don't accept what they hear. No, they don't. No, no. You see what I'm talking about? There's a lot of folk called pastor. They will tell me, Prophet, you preached a good message. Mm -hmm. Did you accept a good message? Oh, you didn't say that now. Okay. We like that. Now. We like that. If, look, if, if they did not accept mm -hmm. the message, I would not see no moving to perfection. All right. I would not see no spiritual growth. Oh, yeah, yeah. I would not see nothing getting better. Okay. Because they are not moving to perfection. To perfection. Okay. So that's telling me mm -hmm. they heard the word. All right. But the word didn't profit them. Go ahead now. And the Bible said the reason why mm -hmm. it didn't profit them, it wasn't mixed with faith. They didn't believe it. That's what it was. Okay. That's the word. You see what I'm talking about? I do that teacher. If we doesn't mm -hmm. accept correction yes. from the word of God, mm -hmm. you know what? Go ahead. We'll stay calm. All right, we will. This is why we in the state that we in. The devil got us stuck in a carnal state. I believe that. I believe that. Yes, yes. Now, let me explain something to you, honey. Go ahead, take your time, man. When you are stuck in a carnal state, mm -hmm. you would believe your man. All right. I, 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 look, I understand the way you operate. You carnal man. Mm. If you were spiritual man, it would be a fight. All right, it would, that. Yes, yes. If you were spiritual minded, yes. it would be a positive thing that I could do it. It's going to be done, prophet. I'm going to get the job done. But if there's a carnal state, don't care. No. Not going to get it done. All right, you're right. If, the, if they in a carnal state, they will sell. They will sell out for Christ. They will sell out their ministry. They will sell out their soul. They're not growing no way. They're not moving to perfection no way. So therefore, the devil got the advantage over them. You see what I'm talking about? Go past them. I want to do more than able to say amen. Yes. That's what I'm hearing. Mm -hmm. What am I singing? All right. All right. I hold it. I don't want to keep saying you right, prophet. Mm -hmm. That's the word. Amen. I know you right. Mm -hmm. I want to see some spiritual progress yeah. in my life. All right, you right. You see what I'm talking about? It's not me being witness of the word going to get me to heaven. It's all. the doers of the word. You see what I'm talking about? It's the doers of the word that justifies unto God, not the hills only. You see what I'm talking about? Now, what does God do here, co pastor? The Bible said God chastens every son of his. Mm -hmm, he does. What God does to him, he corrects us. Yes. Amen. He corrects us with the word. Yeah. He let us know about our failures. All right, he does. Yes, yes. Let us know about our downfall. Yes, he does. Thank you, let us know what we not coming up to. Yes, he does. Yes, he does. Yes. Holy. Thank you, Lord. 
Then he sit back and see what you're going to do. It will tell through your works. If you accept the word of God, amen, he will see correction. Yes, he will. If you accept the word of God, he will, if you accept the word of God, he will see improvement there. But now let me explain something to you here. God don't see uh, correction in everybody, mm -hmm. although he corrects them. All right. He chastised them. Yes, he does. He still don't see it because it's not faith in them to believe the word. Okay. Enough to accept the word. Okay. Cold pastor, it's got to be enough faith in you to accept this word of God. It don't take nothing to hear. No, I don't. It's going to take faith to accept it. You see what I'm talking about? There's no way God keeps showing me his word and I don't correct myself. There's no way that God keeps showing me his word. And I don't see no improvement. There's no way. Because I'm showing God. I'm rejecting correction. When you are rejecting correction. The word won't correct you. You won't see no improvement. You won't see no spiritual progress. Look at a parent with a child. Some parent corrects a child through whooping. They go right back out there and do the same thing again. All right, Hold it. Look at the law. The law correct these criminals. Throw them in jail. Let them out. They do the same crime. You see what I'm talking about. So, just because God corrects these people... It don't mean they gonna get better. No, it don't. Only them that accept the correction, we'll only them that accept the word of God, yes. will get better. All right, you're right. Amen. The rest of them will just be heels of the word. All right, say that. Amen. Look in the mirror. Ooh, my face is dirty, mm -hmm. but never wash it. All right now. That's true. That's true too. You see what I'm talking about? That I do. Go ahead. Amen. If we stay in this carnal state mm -hmm. and don't move to perfection, yes. this can cause the devil to deceive mm -hmm. us. I believe that. Hold it, hold it. This can cause you to sit right under this ministry and go to hell. I believe that. Because you know what he would deceive you of? You say, how can you be saved when God trying to correct you and you don't move to perfection? Right, yeah, yeah. Hold it, baby. God corrects you to move you on. All right, say that. You see what I'm talking about? God corrects you to get you out of the mess that you in, baby. Why are you still in it? God didn't correct you? Yes, he did. Yes, he did. Yes, he did. All of these messages? You see what I'm talking about? Yes, Amen. When you move to when you move to perfection, uh -huh. you see a spiritual change yes, in you. Yes. When you move to perfection, you see a spiritual progress. Right, when you move to perfection, you see yourself getting better. Yes. Not worse. When you move to perfection, you send yourself growing out of one spiritual state into another. You see what I'm talking about? But if we reject the correction from God, if God trying to correct us, we get angry. We don't want to hear. We get disencouraged. All right now. Correction not supposed to make you disencouraged. Not at all. Yeah, yeah. Correction not supposed to make you angry. Not at all. Correction is supposed to make you better. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Huh? You see that? Hold it. Yes, yes. My God, 
Yeah. Co pastor. Uh -huh. Why did, after God correct them with the word of God, they got disencouraged? All right. Because they rejected. That's what it was. Yeah, they it Hold it. Anything that you accept, you get happy for. Hey, Anything you accept, you thank God for it, baby. Yes, I do. You do. I'm gonna do my teacher. Yeah, you thank God, God. I thank you for correction. Yeah, yeah. That is so true. Why is it here? Mm -hmm. When God corrects us through his through his word, uh -huh. we get angry. Yeah, justify. We justify ourselves. You know what that shows you? When God corrects us through his word, mm -hmm. we get disencouraged, mm -hmm. we, or we get angry, or we justify ourselves. Mm -hmm. That's a showing to God through our works. I reject your correction. Well said. Well said. You see what I'm talking about? Yes, yes, yes. Co-pastor, anything that I accept, mm -hmm. That I see, I'm falling short All of. Right now. Anything that I see yes. that I need to come up to, uh -huh. that won't disencourage no, me. Not at all. No. That won't make me angry. Right, There's out. nothing for me to justify, justify myself against. No, 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 no. Hold it. How can you justify yourself against it when you see your words? Uh, yeah, you yeah. see what I'm talking about? How can you do it? No, you can't do it. Uh -uh. If you don't get it, you'll justify when you read it. Just with somebody with knowledge, correction. Listen here. Here's the problem. Mm -hmm. A lot of us, a lot of people that stuck mm -hmm. in this carnal man state. Yes. This is why they can't trust God. All right. This is why they can't accept the word of God. Mm. This is why they not getting delivered. All right. This is why they can't perform their office of, of, of their duty. All right, go ahead. Because they stuck in this carnal mind, this state. Okay. And what God is trying to do with his word, amen, is to correct it, yes. dig around it, to get them out of it, to where they can produce fruit and move to perfection. But if God is digging around it yeah. and they keep throwing the dirt back over it yeah. and say leave me alone yeah. Yeah. I'm already saved yeah. hey that's not me shaking their head All right, now. hold it the Bible said if you feel the let them say feel that's what the word said now. you see what I'm talking about go oh, pastor I got never. the way I got in Christ through Correction. correction, yes, yes I, did. I have moved to perfection. Yes, yes, I have. Through correction. Yes. You see what I'm talking about? I know you're right. Like the saying, no man above the law and no man above this word. All right, say that. Nobody. You're right about it. We all have sinned that came short to the glory of God. Hey, said it, said it. There's none righteous in his sight. No, not one. That's what the word says now. Don't even think it. I know you're right. Well, Pastor, if we doesn't accept yes, Lord. this spiritual correction mm -hmm. from God mm -hmm. and the Word of God, we'll die in the state we in. I believe that, teacher. Bringing this to God won't be good. No. <laughs> My God. Amen. Well, prophet, I'm not a sinner. Well, you're an unbeliever. That's what I'm saying. That, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> All right, now. Because you don't know how God going to look at this no, thing. No, no. He might look at you as an unbeliever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, if you don't accept correction, and if you don't accept the word of God, what else can you call? All right, now, unbeliever. You're right about it. Yes, you you are see right. what I'm talking about? Oh, yeah. Cole Pastor, I moved to perfection. Uh -huh. And I thank God I did. I didn't want to stay in a spiritual weak state. No. When you in a spiritual weak state, you believe anything in your mind. Go ahead. You will follow any spirit. That's true. Amen. You can't get better. All right now. Things in God you should be doing, you can't do. Yeah, that is so true, teacher. Because you're spiritually weak. Yeah, yeah. You're right about it. You yeah. see what I'm talking about? That I do now. Amen. If we does not accept this correction with God. Mm-hmm. 
we will never please God. All right. <laughs> if we does not accept this correction unto God, let me tell you what would happen to you. Go ahead. You won't be living holy. All right. That's true. I got a message telecast this Sunday. God got me in it. Uh, matter of fact, while you was at the gym today, while you was in there uh, walking around, mm -hmm. I was in my car studying. God gave me this message. Go, Pastor, you spoke not holy. <laughs> They're not going to eat. Okay. Now, this is holy. God gave you a chance to come here and hear holy. Yes, yes. And accept it. Yes, you do. And live it. Yes, you do. Yes, you do. But wait a minute, baby. Holiness is something here. You got to move into. Yeah, yeah. Move to perfection. You see what I'm talking about? That's true. A lot of folk, you can see, when God trying to move them to perfection, they get an attitude. All right. When God try to move them to perfection, they get angry. Yeah. When God trying to move them to perfection, mm -hmm. amen, they justify themselves. Mm -hmm. That is you know what they say, go past what they say. Where the prophet don't understand. No, the prophet ain't preaching to you, God. Oh, God. <laughs> you see what I'm talking about? <laughs> hold it, hold it. When God is trying to correct you, look how you throw dirt over it. Look how you push it back. Prophet don't understand. Prophet got everything. Prophet ain't like. You see what I'm talking about? Yes. Amen. Prophet ain't preaching to you the spirit of God is. Yes. Hold it. Really cool, Pastor. Those kind of thoughts mm -hmm. Mm. goes up to God. Yes. Those kind of words yes. goes up to God. Go that's an active that God trying to correct you and move you to perfection. All right. And instead of you accepting the correction and move on to perfection, you justifying yourself. That is so true. You justifying yourself. I got bills. Probably got his paid. Go ahead now. That's what the devil telling you, right? But did the devil tell you that did the devil tell you the time I didn't have him paid and I was committed? Did, did the devil tell you that? You been there? You been there? I've been there. You been there. Yeah. Yeah. You see what I'm talking about? Amen. The prophet don't understand. Do God understand? It's, it's the spirit of God that speaks to the church. Yes, That's why the Bible says, whoever that is to heal, listen what the spirit has to say to the church. You see what I'm talking about. That could be spirit to mind and not the spirit speaking. But see, all of this here, amen, it justifying themselves mm -hmm. against the correction of God. Yes, Lord. Amen. Here's another way of justifying themselves against the correction of God. Mm -hmm. I don't have to prove nothing to man. Oh my God. Amen. amen. Uh, well, you know why you feel like that? Because you can't prove it to God. All right, that's it. You, can't you see what I'm talking You can't come here. Yeah. And that is the front of mind. You protect you. Yeah. Man ain't preaching to you, God is. All right, say that. Amen. I don't have to prove nothing to you. Prove to God. Okay, prove it. Prove it to God. All right. Amen. God's word preaching to you. Prove it to God. He's his word. Yes, he is. Yes, he is, teacher. You're right about it. Go ahead. Uh -huh. You see what I'm talking about? Yes, I do. Co-pastor, we are not corrected mm -hmm. by the word of God. Satan would keep us in this self-righteous state. Yes, he would. Yeah. He would keep us in this believing state. All right. Go ahead. The same devil to get a person not to believe yeah. is the same devil to get a person to believe. believe. Yeah, that's true. The devil can get a person to believe they okay. Mm -hmm. When they're not. When they're not. That's true. The devil get a person to believe they in God when they're, they're not. not. I believe that too. Yes. yes. The devil can get a person to believe that they are growing. When they are not. All right, say that now. You're right about it. 
You're right. Yes. You know why they believe they're growing Go ahead. when they're not? Mm -hmm. Because they listen more than seeing. Mm -hmm. In other words, they listen more to the devil than seeing their works. All right. We'll see. That's true. That's true. Do you see what I'm talking about? I do. Now, co pastor here. Mm -hmm. And I thank God every day for correcting me. Yes, I do. Because I wouldn't be the man I am if God did. All right, say that now. You yeah. see what I'm talking about? Thank him every day too. But I'm a humble servant. Yes, I am. I'm a humble person. Yes, to God. I am. Yes, I am. I'm God's child. He can deal with me with chastisement. Right, I'm not a bastard. He can deal with me with correction. Hey, say that. I'm glad to be corrected. At any given time, yeah, with no problem. No problem, yes. Yeah. I would love to know where I'm falling short you know in. I would love for God to show me where I'm falling short at so I can know what to correct. You see what I'm talking about? How would you know what to correct if God didn't show you where you were falling short at? You see what I'm talking about? Here's the problem, co-pastor. Thank the Lord God, yes. There's a lot of us uh -huh. do not want to know of us. We want to think we okay. We want to think that what we're giving God is good. When God is saying you poor, blind, wretched, and naked. All right. You see what I'm All talking right. about? I want to know. I want to know what I, I want to know. Go ahead now. Yes. Therefore, I would know, co-pastor. Oh, my God. Yes. What to correct in my life. You know it too. Yes, yes. Therefore, I would know what to come yes. up to. Yes. I want to know. I want to know. I want to know. Yes, Lord. Because many a time, the devil can have you blind. Uh -huh. Of you. Oh, yeah. You see what I'm talking about? That is so true. That is so true. The devil will have you blind. Yes, Lord. In the state. That you are in. All right, go ahead now. Amen. When people see them, justify themselves yes. against the correction of God. You know what they doing? Fighting against God. All right. That's not good, teacher. I know you're right. Do you see what I'm talking about? I do. Instead of you telling God your servant here yes. and showing God through your work that you have came up to. Go ahead now. God, I hear what you're saying to me. Yeah, yeah. You see what yeah, I'm talking yeah. about? This is why Jesus told the Pharisees. Go ahead now. That the harlots and the whole mongers and these little children were in the end before you were. All right, that's what he told them. Now. You see what I'm talking about? Go ahead, teacher. I know you're right. I know you're right. Thank you, Lord. The idea of it is here, co-pastor. Jesus. Amen. We're not humble enough. Yes, Lord. For God to deal with All us. All right, go ahead, my teacher. Amen. We're not humble enough yes, Lord. for the pastor through the Holy Ghost to correct us. But you know why we justify ourselves against the word of God? Go ahead, tell it. We don't want to change. That's what it is. <laughs> All right. You hold it, hold it. I don't give a hell what you say. You don't, you don't want to change. change. That's where the justification comes in. Yes. Amen. You don't want to change. You don't want to get no better. You want to believe yeah, that what you giving God is enough for you to get in there. And you know what God telling you is not the case. All right, say that. What God is holding, what God is telling a lot of folk, you come to judgment failing. And except you accept my word and come up to stand, you're going to be a fair one, baby. You see what I'm talking about? This is what I'm saying. It's just like in high school. Mm -hmm. That's why they give you the grades ahead of time. Yeah. Let you know you fell in the class. Yeah. So you can correct yourself in the third quarter, the second quarter. All right. You see what I'm talking about? But if you don't correct yourself, they fail you. You see what I'm talking about? It's the same way with God. Yes, yes, yes. Co-pastor, 
if we don't correct ourselves, go ahead, teacher. God gonna fail us. Yeah. We will not be able to enter in. They gonna reject us. We'll be one of those that said, Lord, didn't we prophesy? All right now. Then we cast demons out. Yes, yes. And he say, I never knew you. Mm. Depart from me. All you right. failed it. God tried. He put you here. Yes, yes. To correct you. Thank you, Lord. To get you in holiness. Thank to you, move you to perfection. Yes. But you justified yourself. Against the word of God. You got angry. No, no, not at all. No, no. The truth disencouraged uh -uh. you. No. I never known the truth disencouraged nobody. Not at all. I never known the truth disencouraged nobody but the Pharisee. Then they self righteous. <laughs> You see what I'm talking about? I do that. Go ahead now. The thing of it is, Jim, uh -huh. what's happening here, co pastor, we have developed our own righteousness. That's what it is. To go to heaven. They going to work. Yeah. We develop our own righteousness. <laughs> Feel as though we do this. If we do it this way, we'll go to heaven. Uh -huh. That's the way the Pharisees did. All right. God come back through his word. To correct you. Let me tell you what God does. Go ahead, take your time. You go at it through your works. Mm -hmm. That if I do this, and if I do that, I will go to heaven. Mm -hmm. God come back through your heart, through your ways, through your lifestyle. Right. And see, you don't like it like that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Cold pastor, we have set up in us. To go to heaven. We have pre-planted ourselves. Yes. To go to heaven. Mm -hmm. Through our titles. Uh -huh. Through our work. Good works. Uh -huh. Through um, our faithfulness. Yeah, so we, say. Mm -hmm. we, that's our, we try to make that our way of going to heaven. We do. But what God does. God's okay. All of that is good. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but one thing that I lack it. Hey. Your ways. One thing that I lack it, your jealousy. One thing that I lack it. Well, you had you that. And cold pastor, when a man believed that he have already apprehended, go ahead. Through his word, uh -huh. Amen. Through his commitment, go ahead. He don't want. To hear nothing else. That uh, he didn't want to hear my way because I believed that what I was doing was good enough. God said, No, 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 your ways ain't no good. The way you do things ain't right. The way you treat people ain't right. You still got convictions there. You see that? Yes. Go ahead, Holy Ghost. Oh my God. A lot of us think him mm -hmm. because of what we do and how we did it. Mm -hmm. That that's as acceptable with God. God. Yeah. Yes, we do. And what God does, he come back to correct us yes, he does. through our ways, mm -hmm. through our stinginess, mm -hmm. through our convictiousness, and we don't want to hear. All right, but check. You see what I'm talking about? I know you're right. I know you're right. Therefore, here, let me tell you what happened to that picture. Go ahead, tell, tell us. Let me tell you what happened. Go ahead, now. Therefore, here, mm -hmm. you got some good works. Mm -hmm. You faithful. Amen. You got the title. Mm -hmm. But God see you got all of that, but you're not perfected. All right, now. Because there are other things in your life. That the word is showing you, which is your convictiousness that you got to get rid of. All right. Amen. Your way that you got to get rid of. Go ahead. Amen. Your hidden lust. Amen. These invisible sins yeah. Yeah. that's in your life that you got to get rid of. Yeah. We don't want to hear that. No, we don't hear that. Oh, hold it. You know why we don't want to hear it? Go ahead. Tell it. 
Because we believed it and already set up in us that we was okay. Yeah, yeah. That is so true. That I got the title. Amen. I didn't clink the church. Uh-huh. Amen. That I'm okay. Yeah. You're right. Yes, you are right. Holy Ghost, probably just like the rich ruler. Go ahead, teacher. Mm -hmm. He thought he was okay. He did that. Okay. Mm -hmm. Amen. He said, good master, what must I do to hurt eternal life? Uh -huh. Jesus said, keep the commandment. He said, I did. He did. From my youth up. Mm -hmm. He said, I, uh, I, he said, I kept all of these. Yeah. Jesus said, okay, let me correct you. One thing you got is convictions. Mm -hmm. Get rid of that. Go ahead. He couldn't do it. Not at all. Hold it. He went home disencouraged like some of y'all said. You got disencouraged. Uh-oh, uh-oh. We broke it down now. You see what I'm talking about? Let me ask you a question here, honey. The Bible said the man went home disencouraged. Yeah. Did he accept what Jesus said? No, he didn't. Okay. Got the answer. Huh. Mm. This is what I'm saying. All right now. Disencourage is an act of you rejecting the word yeah. that God gave uh -oh. you. Uh-oh. My God. Disencourage is an act that you want to do things your way, and your way didn't fit in the plan of God. My ways are not your way. My thoughts are not your thoughts. That is so true. That is so true, though. Yes. You see what I'm talking about? I do that, my prophet. Co Palace yes. said, We fit into God's plane. Yeah, we're going to miss out. Into God's holiness. All right, now. And into God's perfection. Yes. He's going to tell you, I never knew. I believe that. Now, hold it. He's dealing with you fair now. You better have some sense. He's dealing with you fair now. He's not condemning you, he's correcting you. But after a while, it's going to go from correction to condemn. You see what I'm talking about? He's trying to correct you now. But in judgment, he's going to condemn you, baby. You see that? If you don't correct it. Uh, thank God for correction, my teacher. Thank God. Thank you, Thank you, Lord God. Yes, yes. I tell God every day, co Pastor. Hey, yes, Lord. That I thank him for correct. I do. Yes, I do. You know what I tell God? I tell God, I'm not just going to tell you. I want you to see. To. You're not going to see that in my life no more. That's what I tell God. Thank you, Lord. Yes. Amen. I, I said, you're not going to see that in my life no more. That's over. You see what I'm talking about? And when I see, I got rid of it. I see myself moving to perfection. I see myself drawing out of one stage into another, baby. You see what I'm talking about? Thank you, Lord God. Go, Pastor. God know what it's going to take to get me into the kingdom. You see what I'm talking about? Amen. What well, some of us giving is not good enough. You gonna have to meet God's requirement, not yours. You see what I'm talking about? I believe that. I know you're right. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Oh, my God. Thank you, Jesus. Satan does not mm -hmm. want us to move to perfection. No, he don't. Not at all. You know why? Long as the devil keep us in the state that we are in. Go ahead. He can keep talking to us. All right. That's it. Yes. We can keep believing him. Mm -hmm. He can keep getting us disencouraged. Yes, yes. He can keep making us angry. All right, now. He can keep us with the ways we got. All right, say it. Yeah, yeah. Go ahead. He can keep us the way we are. Uh, go ahead, my teacher. Mm. You see what I'm talking about? I do that. Wait a minute, Cole Proud, that you've never disencouraged me. Not at all. Never. That yeah. you've never yeah. made me angry. Not at all, teacher. No. I'm a Christian. Yeah, yeah, People like that, they never been born again. People like that is still a sinner. You see what I'm talking about? But like I said with the rich young ruler, yes. that was his way his plan, yeah. of believing to enter yes. into the kingdom of God. That is so true. 
by keeping the commandments. Mm -hmm. You see what I'm talking about? I do that now. Amen. But that was his way. Yes, Lord. And when Jesus gave him his plan mm -hmm. and his way, he got disencouraged. Yes. And went home sad. Oh. And that's the way a lot of y'all going home. Oh. Not at all, my teacher. No, no, no. <laughs> no. You see what I'm talking about? I do. Not Cold at all. Pastor, that's no. not the way I go home. No, it's not. I go home in the way of correction. I go home in the way of rejoicing. You see what I'm talking about? They show God his labor not in vain. Yes. They show God that I accepted this word in my heart and brought forth much fruit. That's what I'm talking about, baby. You see that? I do that. I heard what the Spirit had to say to the church. Yeah, it's all good. Let me tell you what correction does, co pastor. Go ahead, tell it now. Correction help a Christian. It does. Yes. Yeah. Help me. Correction keep a Christian in the will of God. Yes, it does. Thank you, Lord. Yeah. Amen. Correction. Keep a Christian in land. Yeah, yeah. You dogs. see what I'm talking about? Yes. There's a lot of us. We doing this in the church. Uh huh. There's a lot of us. We got these titles. Mm -hmm. But in reality, God see you out of place. You out of land. So therefore, He send you His word. To correct you. To show you his will. You get angry because God showing you his will. You get disencouraged because God showing you his will. You get angry and disencouraged because God telling you what you should do. Evidently, you must not want to get up off of it. Yeah, yeah. You don't get angry about it. No, no. No, no anger. Let me explain something to you, honey. Go ahead, take your time. When Jesus told the rich young ruler mm -hmm. to sell all he got and mm -hmm. follow him, yes. why did the rich young ruler run away disencouraged? He didn't want to do it. That's what it was. Yeah. You're right. You yeah, see what I'm talking about? Yes. See, a couple of months ago, weeks or whatever, God was telling the people in so many words what to do to test them. A lot of y'all didn't want to do it. You're right. And you didn't do it. That's why you went home disencouraged. Look at the rich young ruler. Good example. All right, my teacher. You couldn't do it. Hold it. Let me ask you a question here. If the spirit of God in me would have preached on something you was doing, amen, that was, that was gratification under God, you'd have went home rejoicing, wouldn't you? Uh -huh. I know it. I know it. You see what I'm talking about? I do. Yes, I do. But because God ways is not yours. And God is telling you to do something that he knows you love. You couldn't do it. And by us couldn't do it. We got disencouraged. We got angry. Amen. We justified ourselves. Not at all. Go ahead now. When a person cannot come up to the requirements of God, they do either one of the three. Get angry. Get disencouraged yeah. or justify yourself. Right, Either one, baby. You see what I'm talking about? That is so true, teacher. You're right about it. Yeah. Well, Pastor, I'm like a rubber band. Yeah. I'm like a rubber band, mm -hmm. man. God could bend me anyway with his word. That's it. You see what I'm talking about? He has bent me in and with your way with his word. This is why God is able to prophesy and say, I'm well pleased with him. You see what I'm talking about? I don't have to ask God how you feel. He communicated to me. Thank you, Holy Ghost. He bagged that up, baby. He told me how he was pleased with me. You see what I'm talking about? Go ahead, Holy Ghost. 
Simply because, Jim, mm -hmm. Coach Pat went up, I never thought that I always had it. Mm -hmm. No, not at all. Whenever God came in to correct me, ready for correction. I was ready for correction, yes. and I did correct That's myself. That's it, yeah, yeah, yeah. I received it, I was ready for it, yeah. That's true, my teacher. Thank you, Lord, yes, yeah, yes. Yeah. Correction doesn't hurt mm -hmm. if you accept it in the spirit. No, it don't. No, it don't. Correction will hurt if you're not ready to give it up. Yes. If you're not ready to change. All right. Correction will hurt. Yeah, go ahead now. You see what I'm talking about? I do that. Amen. Correction not supposed to hurt us. Mm, not at all. If we willing to live for God. See, right. hold it. Let me tell you what I saw in you. Go ahead now. You weren't willing to live for God. Yeah. Okay, bottom line. Yeah, that's all I saw. Okay. That's why you got disincurred. Okay, okay. You're not willing to live for God. That's why you got angry. You're not willing to live for God. Go ahead. That's why you justified yourself because you're not willing to live for God. All right, say that now. Say that. Now, I'm going to tell you this here. Mm -hmm. That spouse of yours mm -hmm. get home and you try to talk to her or him about the Lord. Go ahead. And now, you know, sometime here, one spouse can have a willing vessel mm -hmm. of accepting correction uh -huh. and the other, sp other spouse, well, I mean, I don't know. I thought I was doing good. So did Israel. Go ahead now. So did the Pharisee. Right, Who in the hell is you? Say that again now. Well, I thought I was doing good. What's your thought? Yeah, he says your thoughts not mine. Not at all. That's why he gave you a pastor. You see what I'm talking about? Well, I don't know. I mean, every time you every time you think you're doing good, then like you ain't doing good. Amen. That's an act of rejection, brother. Yes, it is. Or sister. Yeah. yeah. Those are demons talking. That's what that is. To justify what yeah. you're doing. Justifying against the word of God. That's what that is. Yeah. What you need to do, turn around and ban that demon. All right, now. That's all it is. That's what it is, teacher. You see what I'm talking about? I mean, look what Paul told the church. He had to break himself down to God. Yes, yes. He thought he was right. All right now. Until God met him on the road to Damascus. Paul stated he was a Pharisee of the Pharisee, living by the strictest law, baby. Taught under the feet of Gamaliel. You see what I'm talking about? But yet, when God met him on road of Damascus, Paul humbled himself and submitted himself unto the righteousness of God. Nobody told God what you have for me. Look at the, look at the word that Paul asked Christ. What you have for me to do? You see that? We don't know how to humble ourselves with the word of God. You're right about it. Your righteous and filthy rags to God. That's it. That's it. Don't mean nothing. Go ahead. You me. see what I'm talking about? Yes, I do. Hey, Amen. What you call right ain't right. Hey, hey, shut up. Okay. Hey, Amen. God is holy. Very much so. Yes, he is, teacher. Look. He made the heaven. He made you. All right. Shut that down. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Hold it. He know what it's going to take. Yes, he does. For you to enter in. Yes. You can fight or follow. Trust gonna be up to you. Choice is up to you, baby. Yeah, yeah. Now you can do either one of the two, baby. Yeah, yeah. You can fight or follow. I'm gonna follow, I'm gonna follow. Which one are you doing? Are you fighting or are you following? Are you fighting against the word of God or are you following the word of God? The word of God. Yes, I am. That's my only way up out of here. I know you're right. 
Accepting correction, co-pastor, uh -huh. it builds us up. It does. It makes us holier uh -huh. and holier. All right, it does. it does. You see what I'm talking about? Yes, I do now. It will make you wiser and wiser. Yes. Correction. Go ahead. What brings a man into perfection? That is so true. Mm. Amen. It brings a man into perfection unto God. Yes. To where he's qualified in the eyesight of God. All right. And qualified through the word of God that's going to judge him. Yes, yes. For him to enter into heaven. All right. That is so now. That is so, teacher. God know the way. Yes, he does. You don't, you sinner. Well, you didn't say that now. You don't. We sinners. We were sinners. God know the way. You don't see what's all in you. You not being fair with yourself. You covering up a lot of mess. I like that teacher. You see what I'm talking about? Yeah. You covering up this covetousness. You want to cover it up. You want to cover up this hidden lust. God say no. Let's deal with it. Let's talk on it. Let's preach on it. And guess what, baby? Go ahead now. When God deal with it, yeah. when God preach on it, Go ahead. that make you disencouraged. Uh -huh. I wonder why. Because you got these spears in you. Yeah. Hold it, hold it. Yeah, they all feel you, yeah. Brother or sister, uh -huh. if anybody in your family or in your household after they hear the word of God. See, if they get disencouraged or they get mad, they got these spears in them. Hold it. And what you need to do is do like Jesus did Peter. Satan, get behind you. All right, yeah. You see what I'm talking about? Because they got these kind of spears in them. These spears is saying, leave us alone. All right, that's what they say now. Let me believe that I'm doing enough. Let me believe that I'm reaching God's requirement. But see, when God starts touching on me, Go ahead. when God starts preaching on way, yeah. covetousness, yeah. selfishness, yeah. hidden love, we don't want God to go that far. All right now. You know why? We're not ready to give it up. You're right about that. You see what I'm talking yes, about? Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Amen. That's why they feel the way that they feel. That is so The true. way that they, are, they feel, I understand. All right. Mm. Because they got these spears in them and I know. Your mouth gave you away. From the abundance of the heart. The that is so true. That is so true. And I'm going to tell you one thing. I'm adding you now. Yeah. You see what I'm talking about? I never felt like that. Never. I never felt like that. You see what I'm talking about? Hey, man, look, I don't care what it is. If I, look, don't you know? If you want to get rid of this thing, you will get disencouraged. You'll be willing, baby. You'll thank God. Oh, Pastor, when God came to me in that Bible study and we're teaching on ways, mm -hmm. I didn't get disencouraged. No, never have. He let me know my ways was towards you one right. Mm -hmm. I didn't get this encouraged. No. Amen. Uh, when God dealt with me, son told me to apologize. Amen. I didn't get, I didn't, I didn't get this encouraged. No. I didn't get angry. No, no. What I did, I came up to, I called you like a man. And apologized. You see what I'm saying? I came up to God required me. But everybody can't do what I do. Because they're not committed. They're they not that committed to God. They're not that sold out to God. And she did. 
I'm not going to hold it. I'm not going to let myself get in the way. I'm not going to let my flesh, what's in me, stop me from going to heaven, baby. I can't do it, teacher. I know you're right. Not at all. Not going to do it. Do you see what I'm talking about? I do that. But co pastor, mm -hmm. correction him, it brings a man into perfection with God. It does. Now, look. There's a lot of things in my life mm -hmm. that I've seen that God correct and I allowed him to correct. Yes, 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 I have. Because yes. I want to be right. All right, say that. That's it. These people is praying to God, asking God to help them. Mm, uh oh, go ahead now. But when God correct them, look how much they appreciate the help. I got disencouraged. No, no, they don't want I it. got angry. They, don't want it. they throw up their own righteousness. Yeah, yeah. Well, prophet don't understand, mm -hmm. prophet don't know. Prophet ain't went through that. Prophet not going through that. Go ahead, teacher. You're right. I'm not going through it. I wonder why I'm not going through it. You see what I'm talking about? You see what I'm talking about? I do that. Amen. I'm humble to God. Yeah. Let God know, hey, I'm, I'm your servant. You could, I'm your child. I'm your son. Correct me. Deal with me. Yes, you see what right. I'm talking about? Right, teacher, you ain't got to worry about my attitude. No, no, no. You ain't got to worry about me getting disencouraged. No, you ain't got to worry about me justifying myself against your word. Not at all, teacher. You ain't got to worry about me justifying yourself against your prophet. No, not at all, now. But what I'm going to do, I'm going to accept that correction. I'm going to correct that in my life to move to perfection. All right, that's it. That's the only way to do it, teacher. I'm going to it. Thank you for your word, Lord God. Yes, Lord. Do you see what I'm talking about? I do that. See, what God is trying to do here, Cole Pastor, mm -hmm. he's trying to do a couple of things here. Number one, he's trying to save a lot of us. Yes. Then another thing, we some of the folk that I deceived, mm -hmm. he's trying to bring them the into the knowledge where he could save them. That's true. Yes. That's true. And then these people that said that they are saved, even them that are saved, Go ahead. you trying to bring them from one spiritual state to another, and to a higher spiritual yeah, state. That is so true. But the idea, they're going to have to want to go. Yeah. Here's another thing. Go ahead. In order for you to go from one spiritual state mm -hmm. to another higher spiritual state, mm -hmm. there are some things you have to get rid of. Oh yeah, no doubt about it. No doubt about it. There are some things you're going to have to give up that you love. That's true. I want you to tell me what that you love. Whatever it is, All right. you're going to have to give it up. Go ahead now. Go ahead, teacher. You see what I'm talking about? Yes, I do. Yes, I now, if we're not ready to give it up, we will feel like the rich man. Disencouraged. Low in spirit. Yeah, yeah. But if I'm willing to give it up like Zach T, yes, I shout for joy. Yes, that is so true. That is you see true. what I'm talking about? You rejoice to give it up. I have the strength to do it. Yeah, knowledge. Yes. See, Cole Pastor, the state that we is in mm -hmm. is what got us in this dead state. All right now. This don't want to praise God's state. Go ahead. It's not that you need to ban, you need the Holy Ghost. Yeah. You see what I'm talking about? I don't have to go down to Egypt for help. I turn to the Lord. The Holy Ghost to cover it all, you see what I'm talking about? When I'm up here preaching, I don't have no band. Where the band? You see a band up there? You don't see nothing but the Holy Ghost. That's the Holy Ghost. I mean, the sister came in tonight. I told her, okay, you can get it. I mean, if they want it, they can get it. I said, you got to pray for it. Prophet, can we have a band for Women's Day? I said, sure. As long as you pray for it. But, I mean, you can get the band, but you are men the greater man. You need the Holy Ghost. It's the Holy Ghost that does the work. 
Holy Ghost keep everything in order. Line Holy Ghost order. keep everything in line, baby. Yes, it does. Yes, it does. Holy yes, Ghost will move us to perfection, baby. Yes, Holy yes, Ghost will keep us in the will of God. That's what I'm talking about. Yes. The Holy Ghost is the one that will give you life to continue life, not the bad. The Holy Ghost. Right. It's the life of God. Hey, hey, say that, say that. You see what I'm talking about? The Holy Ghost what fell on the day of Pentecost had to fall praising God. <laughs> Didn't you read your Bible? The band for the flush, the Holy Ghost for the spirit. Right now we need the spirit. We need the Holy Ghost. That's it, teacher. But hold it, hold it. No, no. If I don't, no, no, no. It's no problem. I have a band on Sunday. If they want a band, let them get it. I don't bag up on the band. Sometimes I forget they did. You see what I'm talking about? Amen. I, I, I mean, but uh, I told her yes. Bring in what she want to bring in. But when they leave, let me say you at. Okay, I know you're right. Huh. You see what I'm talking about? Yeah, yeah. What a movement gonna be at then? I know this is right. what I'm saying. I'm not arguing against the case. Amen. I mean, um, I appreciate what you're doing. It's your money. You can spend it long. You spend it long. You don't bring drugs in the church. <laughs> Alcohol. Amen. It's okay. Amen. Which I gave her permission. I'm a man of my word. But the main thing, the main thing that a lot of people need is the Holy Ghost. Well said. Well said, teacher. All right. You just on that. That's it. You see what I'm talking about? Yeah, yeah I do. Amen. I mean, look. Amen. It's the Holy Ghost. Yes. Amen. It's what I need to move me to perfection. You know it too. Amen. It's not the music uh -uh. that got the people's dead. No, no, no. It's the Holy Ghost that they don't. Because they didn't have no music on the day of Pentecost. All right, say that. Not at all. Not at all. Not at all. The music don't give life, it gives rhythm to the flush. You quiet the music, everybody in the party sit down. Don't you see that? When the music stop, they stop. When the DJ stop playing the song, people stop dancing. That's true. You see what I'm talking about? I'm not against it. Don't get me wrong. I'm for it. I told her, yeah, that'd be good. But I have to let them know the real thing that they need. Yeah, yeah, you did. That's the main cornerstone. Uh huh. This is why that a lot of these people can't praise God or can't keep it up because they don't. They, they're not stirring up the Holy Ghost, That's or true. they don't have those. That's true, my teacher. Yes, Lord. This is why a lot of people cannot stop doing what they're doing or can't do what God required them to do because they don't have the Holy Ghost. Well said. And when you keep pushing them to do something that they don't want to do, that's what make them disencouraged. And they turn to another source. That's true. That's true, teacher. And my God. When you keep pushing them through the word of God. Yes, yes. Of doing what they don't want to do. Uh -huh. That's what make them angry. All right, that's true. Because you really, they don't want to do it. And you, keep, and, you, and you keep talking on this thing. You keep pushing the issue. That's Can't you see, man, I don't want to do this? All right, now. Yeah, God see it too. Yes, that's why you got angry. That's why you got disencouraged. That's why you got quiet. All right, say that.
You see what I'm talking about? Yeah. All right, no problem. You can turn to the band. I'm coming after the band. Oh, yeah. You see, <laughs> you see what I'm talking about? Yeah. I, I know what you need. Mm -hmm. I know you do. I know why you're in the shape you in. Yes. I know why you can't do this. I know why you start and stop. I know why you operate the way you are. Yes, yes. This is why I thank God for his word. Hey, set up. What I do? What I do? Now, here's the thing, Pope Pastor. The word of God is not going to move all to perfection. Uh -huh. Just like the word of God through Moses did not get all in the promised land. You're right about it. No, it didn't. No. no it didn't. All of them did not come in into Egypt. No. Go ahead, teacher. You see what I'm talking about? I do that. But if God can get two or three, yes, yes. help and rejoice. Yes, yes. You see what I'm talking about? Oh, yeah. And the reason why a lot of these people... Cannot move to perfection yes, because their heart is hard toward the word of God. Toward the word of God. That is so true. That is so true. Let me, let me, now you talk to me. Let me talk to you. Ah, go ahead, talk now. Right. Let me tell you why you got disencouraged after you heard the message. Let me tell you why you got angry. Let me tell you why you justified yourself unto God. Go ahead now. Because. You was not ready to submit yourself That's it. to the will of God. That's what that is. And you feel as though that the word of God through the prophet was pushing you. No. Something you don't want to do. It was trying to correct you. Yeah. Yeah. That is so true. You see what I'm talking about. Amen. Do you believe? How do you know that what you got enough of you getting into the kingdom? We don't. We don't know. God is telling us Suppose that. God see confessions in you trying to get it out of you. Suppose God see lust there and trying to get it out of you. Suppose God see selfishness there and trying to get it out of you. Well, God can tell if he didn't get it out because you'll stay the same. Yeah, that's true, teacher. But if God got it out, you will see yourself moving to perfection. All right. You will see yourself growing out of that state. Well said. Well said. That is so true. That is so true. I know you're right. Yeah. See, Cold Pastor, God got me out of my ways towards you. Uh -huh. I see that. Yes. Because I saw myself grew out of that state. Uh huh. That's true. You yes. see what I'm talking about? No problem. Hey, man, I want to change. Mm -hmm. See, a lot of us, we're talking to God with a double man. I said it. We ask the Lord to help us, to deliver us, to make us better. Uh -huh. Then we're asking God, what, what else can I do in the church? And God telling you. And you can't do it. That's true. Or you get angry. Well, that means we not serious of what we tell you, God. All right, say that. Lord, what else you want me to do? What else can I do in the church? I want to do more. You really want to do more? He telling you through his word. All right. You got disencouraged. You got angry because you didn't want to do it. Yeah. That's true, my teacher. Want me to tell you something? Go ahead. I tell y'all, don't fool with God. Watch what you pray for. Watch what you say. God will tell you what he wants you to do is give. Give up your money. Let me see if you can do that. That's what he told the rich young ruler. That's what he told Abraham, give up Isaac. Something you love. Something you need. Man, it will be the time your mortgage. That's all you got. Fifteen hundred dollars. God said, okay, you want to do something? Give up your... Let's see if you can do it. You see what I'm talking about? I do that, my partner. Now, if we can't do it, what kind of prayer was that? If we can't do it. We ask God to, we want to be used more. What is woman to do? Then God tells you and you can't do it. What, what kind of prayer was that? That wasn't a serious prayer. No, it wasn't. You didn't mean what you said. Because, see, what God did, he came back with something he knew you loved. All right, say that. Yeah. And you couldn't do it. 
So if you can do it, then you get angry because it keep pushing you. You think that somebody's trying to push you or to get you to do it. You see what I'm talking about? Just like the extra person drop you off and they really don't want it and you keep, and you keep bugging and they're going to get angry. All right. Or they might tell you, but they'll cop an attitude. They won't say nothing to you while they drive. Go ahead now. You see what I'm talking about? I do, my teacher. There's a lot of folk called pal. They say, well, I'm going to be like you, prophet. You can't be like me if you don't take correction. All right, say that. That's true. You see what I'm talking that about? That is so true, teacher. Hey, Amen. Look, I didn't get this way in God just by singing in the choir. No, no. Just no. by coming to church. No. Just by preaching in the pulpit. No. I got this way in God by submitting myself. All right, say that. Yes, you did. Yes. And submit myself up under the righteousness yes. of God. I see that. My God. I see that for myself, teacher. I never got angry at correction. Even if pastor told me to get me a suit, a black suit on, so I didn't get angry at him. No. I went out and did it. The yes. guy accept correction. Oh, yeah. You see what I'm talking about? Yes, I do. God told me to quit my job. I did. Yes. I didn't get angry. No. I didn't question that. No. That's giving up a whole lot of money. Yeah. Matter of fact, giving up all of it. <laughs> all right. You see what I'm talking about? I do that, teacher. But co brother, I grew into the state because I kept accepting correction of the word of yes, God. Yes, yes, you do. Yes, Lord. See, a lot of these folk is saying that they are for God and that they are saved. We're going to see how saved they are when God correct. All right. Better tell it all, teacher. Better tell it all. You see that? Yes, I do. A child of God, mm -hmm. a true Christian, mm -hmm. do not get angry at correction. Or disencouraged. They do not get disencouraged not at, at correction. No, no. They do not justify themselves against a correction. Not at all. You know what they do? Submit themselves. That's it. That's all you're to the will of God. That's all you're supposed to do, teacher. That is so true. Yes. Go ahead you now. see what I'm talking about. That I do. See, there's a lot of us, co pastors in the spiritual state we are in mm -hmm. now. What God is trying to do is grow us out of this state. Yes. Because the state you in now, you don't see Christ. Mm. Oh my God. Under this ministry. By now, he should see the Christ. image of Christ formed in him. All right, well said. That is so true. That is so true. You see what I'm talking about? Yes. So what God is trying to do Go ahead now. Is, is, is to move us into perfection That's true. so he can see the image Christ in us, yes. of Christ. Mm. In us. Thank you, Lord. Yes, yes. Do you see what I'm talking about? That is so true. See, the spiritual state that some of us is in now, we might be too weak. This is why God is not using a lot of people. Mm -hmm. This is why God, this is why we're not growing. Go ahead. He got to get us out of this state that we are in. Mm -hmm. This spiritual stage we are in is selfishness, mm -hmm. lustfulness, unfaithfulness, uh -huh. don't care. Mm -hmm. See, these things may not be, these things not pleasing to God. All right, say that. I know and that. these things is what's holding us back. Yes, God knows this here. So he's trying to get us out of this yes, stage yes. through the teaching of his word. <laughs> Go ahead, teacher. But if we don't hear what the Spirit is saying and accept it, yes. we will stay in this dead state. All right. This quiet state. Yes. This depressed state. Yes. Amen. Now, you telling me the word of God got you disencouraged? No, it's not the word of God got you disencouraged. Not at all. Amen. It's not the word of God got you disencouraged. The reason why you disencouraged because you're not going after God. All right. That's it. Because if you was going after God and you were a spiritual man, yes. the prophets will be subject to the prophet. That's the word. You That's see what I'm talking about? Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Go ahead now. Mm. Do you see what I'm talking about? That I do, teacher. It's the reason why we disincourage. Mm -hmm. Ain't got nothing to do with me. No. It got something to do with thee. All right. That's true. 
It's a reason why we listen to these man demons. Go ahead. We on their level. All right. Why the devil don't talk to me? No, me neither, teacher. No. no. Why the devil don't hang around me? No, no, he don't. Why the devil have a foothold in my life? No, no, he don't. No, not at all. You see what I'm talking about? That I do now. I understand why a lot of these people looking at circumstances. All right. They stuck in this spiritual carnal state to where they would look at circumstances more at the powers of God. Mm -hmm. It's true. I understand why they say they can't do things, mm -hmm. won't do things. Mm -hmm. They stuck in this carnal state. Mm -hmm. You're right. Spiritual man to man thinks spiritual. All right, he does. He I does. can do it. Do all I'm going to do it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's true. That is so you true. see what I'm talking about? Yes, I do. Yes, I do. You're teaching good. So when God see us mm -hmm. stuck in this state here, go pastor, he tries to move us to perfection. out of this mm -hmm. spiritual state Yes, to where he can give us spiritual gifts. The state that we in now, go ahead. he cannot give you no gifts. All right, all right. Go ahead, teacher. Amen. Look at you. Look at the state. Yeah. Makes a lot of you sense. Don't, you don't want to praise God. All right. You get disencouraged. You do things your way. You do things out of spite. All right. Now, oh my God. You see that? Yeah, that's not good. Yeah, that's not good at all, teacher. Mm. So, you can see why. That the, in that state that yes. we is in, uh -huh. according to the book of Galatians. Go ahead. That state will send you to hell. Oh my God. All so right. what God trying to do is get you out of this, out of that carnal state, mm -hmm. out of this fleshly state, get you in the spirit yes. where you can be saved, where mm -hmm. you can go to heaven. All right. Go ahead. Because if you in the spirit, you're going to think spirit. Yes, you will. You're going to think positive. I can do all things. Uh, all right. You're not going to accept no for an answer. No, not at all. No, you won't. No, you you're won't. not going to accept no failure. You're not going to back down from the things of God. No, you won't. No, you won't, teacher. Not at all. No, no, no. All you want to do is sing in the choir mm -hmm. and issue out chicken dinners. All right. That ain't good right there. You can't go to heaven like that. All right. That's true. Amen. You got to get out the kitchen and get in the battlefield. All right. <laughs> that is so true. You see that? Yes. Yes. That's true. So. What God does, God seals in this carnal state, mm -hmm. seals in this fleshly state, mm -hmm. and God sends us his word, yes. amen, to correct us, but it's how we receive in his correction. That is so true. We can tell how we receive in his correction Go ahead. through our works. Yes. By the way we're growing. All right. By the way we answer to God. Yes, that's true, my teacher. When God send you his word, how do you answer back to him? Glory, 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 glad to receive it. Do you answer back to him through obedience? Yes, I do. Or through anger? Uh -huh. Do you answer back to him through correction yes, yes. or disencourage? Uh -huh. correction. correction. Do you answer back to him? Through correction yes, yes. or justification. Mm -hmm. Correction. Go ahead, my teacher. You see what I'm talking about? I do that. I Go past them. Yes. When God corrected me through my ways towards you, I answer back to God through correction. correction. Yes. Look how my ministry took off. Yes, yes. Look how God used me mightily. All right, the yes, yes. 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 You yes. see what I'm talking about? This is what I'm saying. Yes, Lord. Here's the problem. Go Here's ahead. the thing here. Mm -hmm. When God sent his word to correct us, yes. you know what God looking at? How you answer back. That is so true. Yes, Lord. You see what I'm talking about? I do that. Amen. He's the one grading you, not me. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right. Amen. He's the one. That's watching your correction. Yes, yes. Because he's the one that's speaking his word mm -hmm. to correct me, us. to correct you, to bring you into a spiritual state. Mm -hmm. 
Because the state you in now, you can't trust God. All right. Look how you act. Look how you talk. Mm -hmm. Look how defeat you take. Look how you you yeah. come with a failure. All right. I can't do this. I can't go there. I can't. That's true. That's true. Yes. That's Everything is back. defeat with you. Mm -hmm. Okay, my teacher. I hear you. That's a fleshly state. Yes, it is. That's a carnal state. That it is. Mm. The spiritual state, you never would have came to me. All right, now. No. You would have did it. You would have pulled it off. That's it. You'd have got the job done. That's it. Amen. You would have performed it. You would have. That's true. You're right. See, in this in this carnal state, it's a lot of defeat. Mm -hmm. It's a lot of weakness. Yes. It's a lot of failure toward God. It is that. And there's a lot of invisible sin. Mm. All right. This is why God want to get us into a spiritual state. All right, set it, set it. The world we will live victorious. Yes, Lord. Where we will live to please God. That is so true. You see what I'm talking about? That is so true, teacher. Go ahead now. Where we will live joyfully. Yes, Lord. Yes. And where the things of God will be interested in doing. Yes, yes. We have joy in doing. Yeah, yeah. We will. We write about it. We won't have to keep getting rebuked. Mm. All right now. You see what I'm talking about. I do that. So co-pastor, this is why God keep correcting us. Yes, Lord. The Bible said no correction seems no correction is joy at the beginning, but grievous. Yeah, that's the word. Because he's fighting against your flesh. That's mm -hmm. why it's grievous. Mm -hmm. He's fighting against what you don't want to do right. and what he's asking you to hey, do. Hey, set it, set it. That's why it's grief. It's true. That is so true. You see what I'm talking about? That's why you getting disencouraged because God fighting against something you don't want to give up, you don't want to do. Yes. And the reason why you don't, because you're in that carnal state. All right, go ahead. He's trying to get you out of that spiritual, get you out of that carnal state, to get you in the spiritual state. Once you get in the spiritual state, Lord, not my will. Let yours be done. You see what I'm talking about? This is what I'm talking about. Yes, yes, I hear you now. This is why he's correcting us. Yes, Lord. To get us into perfection. Yes, Lord. That's why he correcting us with these offices in the church. All right, go ahead. To get us to fulfill them. Yes, yes. Not sit on them. All right, now. Not sell them out. All right, say that. That's true. That's true, teacher. But to fulfill them. Yes, Lord. Because he know the day going to come. Mm. He going to judge you. Yes, Lord. And what God is trying to do here. Because he loved you. Yes, Lord. He trying to get you into a spiritual place where he could spare you. You see what I'm talking about? But like I said a week ago, you is your own enemy. It's you that's, gonna, that's stopping you. God trying to get you delivered from you. You see what I'm talking about? Hold it, baby. It's you that want the things of this world. It's you that want the money. God trying to get you delivered from that. If you get in, if God gets you in the spirit, you'll be delivered. Yes, yes. Amen. You asked for deliverance, didn't you? All right. He sent his word to heal you. Amen. You justified yourself. He can't do it. He can't ask for your Amen. You get too disencouraged. Paul said, I fed you with milk. You, you can't take me. You know why you can't take me? You ain't sold out. I mean, hold it, baby. You've been here long enough to be off that bottle. You should be off that bottle now. You don't want to see yourself still on that bottle. You're not God going to look at that in judgment of you. 
You see what I'm talking about? Go ahead, teacher. See, a lot of people want to do what they want to do, mm -hmm. not what God is commending them to, to do. do. Yes, that's true. Go ahead. You see what I'm talking about? I do that. What God tells us to do, we do it not what how we feel, mm -hmm. but what God is telling us to do. Yes. That brings us to perfection. It does. Pastor. Yes, it does. If I do it the way that I want to do it, never get there. I never get there. Mm -mm. God bless you. God bless you.